Good day and welcome to our short disassembly video for Samsung uh, C460. There's a whole bunch in this line and a lot of these Samsung desktop printers are made in the same uh, way. So the, what applies here, uh, what we show you here will apply to a lot of different printers. First thing, just move the obvious stuff, move the paper tray. Gone. Pop the toners out. There you go. Waste toner bottle just pops out. You just put your hand in and squeeze it back. That pulls out the drum. Uh, really, what you have to do here is uh, use your thumb along the bottom and pull it back. There we go. And the drum will just pop out. It's not screwed in or anything. Pull the drum out. So, one drum. Uh, now, the uh, fun parts. So, what we do is we flip it around. And on the back here, there are four screws, uh, one, two, three, four. To save time, I've already pulled them out, but they're just standard screws, nothing really exciting there. Uh, standard uh, Phillips head. Okay, so now to pull this off, this is clip, so you just pop it like that. And I like starting from the left here, but it is really kind of ugly, so you have to yeah, get your muscle into it. There we go. And then this just pulls apart. Ah, come on. There it is. So these just come off. Nothing too exciting again. And on this side, what you do is open the front drawer here, and this just pulls out. So you just pull it there, pull it there, there we go. And just tip this up and pull from here. There's the clip. There's the clip. Come on, you little so-and-so. So-and-so, that's a new one. All right, there we go. Nobody's ever heard that one before. And there it is. So this just pops off. Again, just, it's just clipped in. Nothing too challenging. Uh, same thing on the other side. I'm not going to take that apart because there's not that's not the side I need to get to. In this case, I have a bad network card, so I'm going to pop that out. Let's just uh, tip this down so you can see it better. Okay, so here, to pull out the uh, network card and the USB card, just uh, it's a number of ribbons and these four screws, and that's it. So let's pop that out. And let's see if they're the same as the other screws. No, they're... Yep, they're the same as the screws that go in the back. So let's just compare that. This is the screw I just pulled out right here. And that's the screw that goes in the back that held the back plastic on. You can see that it's the same. So we don't have to keep track of those. Normally, <clears throat> what I do for these things is when we're pulling things apart, I put the screws in the same order uh, on a table. So bottom left, I put, I get a table and I set the screw in the bottom left. Uh, top right, I take the screw that's in the top right and I put it on the table in the top right. Um, these are all the same, so there's not much point, and there's four of them, so it's not like it's a weird number or, you know, weird locations or anything, so nothing too challenging. Whoops! There we go. Now we just pop these ribbons off. See if there's any breaks or releases on them. Nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, let's just sat in there. That's it. So there's the card. You can see it's loose now. And uh, these connectors just pull off like normal connectors do. Nothing too exciting there. I'm just going to start going through them. I could have pulled them off in advance, but I really wanted to get that ribbon off first. Or sorry, I really wanted to get the... Um, unit out first so I could make sure I had the right part before I start ripping it apart. Um, in fact, that's what I'm going to do, but these ribbons are all standard. There's nothing too shocking. They just pop straight out. So um, that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca and that's it. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.